Hi, uh, today I'm going to be doing a poetry review and it's a uh, poetry review of uh, Robert Louis Stevenson poem. Uh, I think I remember this from my childhood but I can't exactly remember when but quite far back. Uh, this is Former Railway Carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson and I'm going to do a reading of the poem, a very brief talk about the poem, uh, three good things about the poem, three bad things about the poem, uh, poetry rating and a poetry uh, recommendation. Okay. <clears throat> From a Railway Carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and changing along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle, all of the sights of the hill and the plain, fly as thick as driving rain, and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by, here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles, here is a trap, tramp who stands and gazes, and here is the green first uh, stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill, and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. <clears throat> and that is from a railway carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson. Uh, I really love this poem and it has um stuck in my mind even though I um couldn't remember all of it but I got the sort of uh, the gist of it all these things as seen from a railway carriage and the the speed of the poem as if it were read by somebody a bit faster would match the speed of the train all the things passing by as you're in a train going at a high speed. Um, I'm not sure what speed steam trains would have gone at, but they would have been quick for that time and they would have passed by all these things, uh, mostly rural things I would imagine, but um, hedges and ditches and um, gathering brambles and uh, cart run away in the road so um <clears throat> three uh, good things about the poem uh i like the speed of the poem as i've said it's like a train itself uh i like the uh, length of the poem it's um a reasonably uh short length and that um Works really off the speed, and um, just the whole uh, shape of the poem. Um, each a glimpse and gone forever. Um, uh, also, um, uh, my favorite line. That would be my favorite line. Each a glimpse and gone forever. Because that really is. Um, especially if you're sitting at the back of the train and things are going in front of you, not the other way when you're sitting and you're watching the things go past. Um, but as you see, especially if you see animals um, like a deer, it's just a very brief glimpse and then gone forever. <clears throat> so that's my favourite line. Um, three bad things about the poem. This is going to be a bit hard. Um, Um, maybe if you're a fan of, well, maybe if you dislike rhyming poems, F faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. Um, and some people don't really like rhyming poems. Um, they maybe think they're a bit, uh, old fashioned or. 
whatever. And you think of McGonagall when you think of a <laughs> rhyming poem. So um, maybe the rhyming. Um, maybe I could go without the some of the lines there. Uh, the, the child and the tramp, maybe. Um, uh, one more bad thing, maybe it's a bit too idyllic, um, possibly. Um, Rating this poem, uh, I would rate it very highly. I would um, go for 9 out of 10. <laughs> uh, very, very close to being 10 out of 10. I really do like this poem. And for a poetry recommendation, at first I thought Silver Machine by the band Hawkwind. I don't know why. I thought that a bit um, unrelated. So a uh, poetry recommendation I'll go with The Train Passing Trains by B.J. Kant Doobie and um, let's check here yep I think that's everything so that was From a Railway Carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson Thanks for watching. Bye.